guys, so today I thought it's time I did a uni video. I kind of thought I'd do a chatty video, just in case you're going to uni and maybe don't know what to expect. So I thought I'd do like a what I take to uni kind of video. I, I do fashion design at uni. I did also stay at home. My uni's only like five minutes away, so, so yeah, I decided to stay at home because I just don't think I was ready to move away. Just a load of different reasons, but I decided to stay at home. I kind of wasn't really too sure about uni when I first started applying at school. I never really knew what I wanted to do. I was never like one of those people who knew what they wanted to do. I've never been like that. I've kind of just gone with the flow. So yeah, I study fashion design. I'm going to be going into my second year. I've just had nearly three months off uni for summer. I think I'm going to start off my sewing box. Obviously being a fashion design student it's kind of essential that you have a sewing box. Last year I didn't get any of my stuff ready for like my first day and I literally didn't have hardly anything in my sewing box but this time I've been like yeah I need to get everything sorted so I went to Hobbycraft and I got this so well it's not actually a sewing box it was like a arts and crafts box it was with like the art stuff I think I paid like £5.50 for it with my student discount. Basically, open it up. Yeah. Open it up and it has like two tiers so you can fit a load of stuff in it. Yeah, I have like some random elastic and like jewels and stuff. That was just from my old sewing kit. I have a tailor's chalk. Obviously, I'm not sure it. Tape measure. A thimble, I never use these, like I don't think I've ever used one. I've got an unpicker, I'm pretty sure this was like a pound from Hobbycraft. Sewing guide, it's got a little smiley face on it. I've got a tracing wheel. And then I have a sewing gauge, which basically is another thing that you can use to like make sure your measurements are correct. Then I have like white thread, invisible thread, a pair of like embroidery scissors that look like a bird. How cute. Then some scotch tape, and dressmaker pins, set of hand sewing needles, beads that I had from ages ago. And um, one of these things, now these are the cutest things I've ever seen. Basically what you do is you just tum on your wrist. It's a pin cushion, so, so if you have your hands full you can literally just like put the pins in. You're not going to lose them, which is good because I'm always losing pins. I bought some paper scissors from Wilco's as well because I always ask people like, oh, I'm going to borrow your scissors. It's just a big pain. And then I just had my fabric shears, which were £5 from Hobbycraft. If you are just like starting out or you're going into first year, then those ones are really good. That's what's in my sewing box. Another thing I'm going to be taking is obviously a bag. This is the bag that I take to uni. It's from Ted Baker. As you can see, it's navy and I just put a little pink pom-pom on it. If you know me, you know I love pink. I take this one because it's pretty big and I know that it's probably not going to break on me because I have a lot of stuff. In here, I take my purse, which has my student card in it. I'm not going to lie, I think I'm going to stop taking my purse to uni because I spend too much money on food. I think I must have spent about £200 on food in my first year, so I'm going to try this time to not spend so much money on food because I'm pretty sure that's where half of my student loan went. So in my bag, I haven't actually put it in my bag because I've been using it. I got this bottle from B&M. It's like one of those ones where you fling this sucky bit up. It's got a straw so it's less likely to leak. I think this was like £3. But it's a good size as well. Also, what I'm going to take my lunch in, I got this in Home Sense. I feel like this is probably going to make me cook more and take my own food and you take the lid off and then it has a little pot that slots in here which I think is really cute and then you take it up and it's got your knife and fork on the bottom so I'll probably put like make noodles or like a chilli I'll take that with me because I don't really mind like eating that kind of thing cold but I seriously need to take my own stuff I think this was at maybe four pounds but I know you can get probably get it in places that's cheaper okay moving on to like pencil case and stuff. I got this pencil case from Sainsbury's. I think it was like £2. Um, inside, I did buy the highlighters. I'm pretty sure I got these for like £1.99 in B&M because I'm always highlighting stuff. I have another Pritt stick because I'm always running out of Pritt sticks. I've got a little pink ruler that was 30p from Wilkinson's. And then this rubber 
is a rubber on one end and then on the other end is a sharpener. I've got a pen. I have four mechanical pencils. I think they were like a pound or notebooks. These are the notebooks that I've currently got. I'm probably going to buy some more before I actually go to uni. I think I've still got like maybe a week and a half before I go back to uni but I get the majority of like my notebooks from Sainsbury's and Homesense. So I have this one which is from Sainsbury's. It just says notes on it and it's like a big notebook. I have ripped out all of my notes from first year but look and it's marble and pink so and then I also got the little daily journal um, that matches. Looking for a diary, but diaries seem to be so expensive. And it also goes from 2017 to 2018. I found that a lot of um, diaries were only 2018 ones, and obviously I need it for the end of 2017. So with this, you literally just tick the month and then circle the date, and then you can write in it. So I'll just write in like work that I have to do. So yeah, another notebook that I got from HomeSense was this one. It's literally just like a little one. I'll probably use this for just jotting notes in, whereas the big one I'll use for like my written modules. I think this was $1.99. I'm pretty sure it was $1.99, but it's cute and it's pink and gold. Another thing obviously that I take to uni is my laptop. I started first year with a HP and I just found that it was just far too heavy. It was a massive laptop and it was starting to get a bit slow and I really kind of needed Photoshop. I decided with my student loan that I would get a MacBook. I've got this little skin on it from Coconut Lane. It's really good because it means like my laptop's not getting scratched. I know obviously if I drop it, it's not going to protect it from like fully breaking. It just protects it from like scratching and stuff. I wanted to um, have a look at the coconut lane skins because they are really cute. They also do proper cases that you can like clip on and also squidgy laptop cases, which I seriously need to get. I also have pens. Now I keep these at home because Otherwise, I'm going to be taking like 20,000 pencil cases to do me. I have a load of Sharpies that come in like loads of different colours. They're just like a load of different colour Sharpies. And then I also have Pro Markers. Now, if you don't know what these are, they're basically pens that you colour in. It doesn't leave that like streaky pen mark behind. They can be quite expensive, but if you get them from... The range they are pretty cheap for like sets in there definitely recommend almond <laughs> i'd recommend getting the color almond because this is really good for skin color when you're coloring in like croquis and stuff but yeah these are really good you can also buy them separately i think they're like two pounds or something yeah, that is basically everything i'm going to be taking to uni yeah i was thinking of doing like a uni Q&A. If you do have any questions that you'd like to ask about like my course and what it's like, whether it's like, I don't know, what I thought it would be, why I chose it, what I did at A-levels, do leave some questions down below. I've made a massive mess of my room. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye!